Here's a culinary question for you. Which shellfish has the highest level of valuable omega-3 fatty acids? If you said oysters or scallops, you'd be wrong. Would you believe it's the humble mussel? These guys may be the forgotten cousin of the oyster, but mussels sure pack a real punch when it comes to nutrition. And farmers here in Tasmania are working to ensure the future of this delectable sea creature. Here at Spring Bay Seafood, they grow their own from scratch. This is the only dedicated commercial mussel hatchery in the world, and the science involved in the state-of-the-art facility is just staggering. Amid bubbling beakers, researchers have discovered a way to make big mussels create little mussels. How? Well, on that score, Managing Director Phil Lamb is as tight-lipped as one of his prized babies. It's a combination of a technique that we've researched and also a bit of magic um, that works really well. Um, it, it is difficult, but um, we've practiced it, we've got it down to a fine art, and now we know how to do it quite regularly. So regularly, in fact, that during our visit, we were able to capture, for the first time on camera, mussels actually spawning. Uh, we collect the spawn and uh, incubate it, um, and out of one mussel, we might, uh, we might get, uh, or out of two mussels, we might get five to ten million fertilised eggs in 24 hours. That's incredible! They not only produce the larvae, they have to produce enough algae to keep the juveniles well fed. Uh, we can spawn up to a billion mussel larvae and we need lots and lots of food to feed them. The larval phase lasts just under three weeks. The mussels start growing their beard when they change from a larvae into a spat and in the wild they use this beard to cling onto rocks or pylons. But here in the hatchery they get very attached to this special rope which of course makes transferring them out onto the farms a lot easier. These lines are suspended vertically in the clean, deep waters of Tassie's east coast. We're only farming around about two tonnes per hectare. When you compare that to the New Zealanders, the, the Europeans, who are doing 10 to 20 times that, we've got a very sustainable model um, and where our footprint is, is, is as close to zero as you could hope for. It takes the mussels about 18 months to reach maturity. The ideal harvest size is anywhere between 76 and 100 millimetres. Few meals are as quick to prepare. Just a little Spanish onion, prosciutto, white wine and cream. Probably cook these for about um, probably four to five minutes total. Nice and quick. And believe me, they're well worth it. 